today I show you how to upgrade the Android version, the Android operating system on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Most of the time it will do it automatically, but in some cases you will still need to check manually. First and most important, start with the full battery or almost full and check the version you have. This one is One UI 6.1 Android 14 Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. There is S24 Ultra, S24 Plus and Samsung Galaxy S24. It doesn't really matter, the updates will be similar I believe between them. Write in the comment section below if it's different for you. But you go to the software update page, really in the settings, and you will see the size of the update. There is the first step is to download the update. Even though it says download and install, you will still have one more step where you can change your mind after this one. And the size actually is pretty large. 2.6 giga or I don't know. That's, I thought it was saying 400 mega earlier. The phone will restart automatically when it's finished. And I plugged in the charger here because even though it was more than 90%, almost 100%, it didn't really hurt to have the charger plugged in. Maybe it would make the whole process faster if the processor gets full power from uh, the charger. And it's not trying to save energy, I'm not sure if it's really like this. When the update is downloaded and is ready to install, you have the option to press start install now. And this is the moment where you really shouldn't try to restart the phone, you shouldn't really do anything with it. You let the phone restart and it will do its thing, showing you some progress. It's nice to see the progress, but anyway, if it gets a little bit stuck at one point, no need to rush things, it will uh, it will work eventually. It restarted by itself while it was doing the update. After, after the update is restarting. I keep cleaning the phone screen because on this uh, desk here with the lights, you can see every smudges every smudge or fingerprint and it's uh, nicer to not to see fingerprints and smudges everywhere now the phone is ready i can unplug the charger and open it it's still going to do some final steps and in the notifications you will get um, option to show you that the update is still happening it's still doing some things in the background optimizations or whatever it's doing and when it's finished, it will tell you that it's finished and it's successful, which is always good to see. And now you can use the phone. Software update, your phone has been updated. It's successful. And the, the, the there will be many differences between smaller versions. The Android 14 and One UI 6.1, didn't change these big numbers so when the Android 15 and One UI 7 for example will be uh, uh, will show up then there will be some differences for sure but for now it's pretty much similar it's always good to keep the phone updated for security patches and to keep uh, the latest versions of the apps for compatibility you always want things to work and not have an old version of your phone that doesn't work anymore with some apps or devices like payment. If you don't update your phone, eventually the banking apps, payment apps will not work anymore for security reasons to protect your account. And normally this won't happen. You will get the software update automatically, even you wouldn't have to worry about it. But you do have to choose to install it and when to install it. It's always good to have it plugged in and not do this when the battery is too low. I don't think it will even start if the battery is less than 50%. But anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comment section below which phone you have and if you're happy with it or if you are looking for a new phone or uh, some new devices. Thanks for watching.